everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're having a very awesome day today and that you're still reading your, your bible and today i'm gonna be talking about the story of peter and cornel uh, and cornelius like when they first meet like jewish and then gentile first be uh, first meet and then be friends like that so uh so today he let's get started with the video with prayer okay so better your heads and close your eyes okay that's very important when you pray okay i'm not joking <laughs> dear god i thank you for this day and i thank you for the grace that you've gave us i pray that you may bless all these people <laughs> oh and that they may Hey, be able to get your salvation and that today may be a good day and that, that everybody hey, with the coronavirus, they may they feel better again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay? So, now, let, let's get started with the video. So, today, again, I bought another Bible. This isn't a King James Version anymore. Now, this is... NIV, okay, NIV, that means it's New International Version, that means the words are easy to read, okay, so, now let's get started, so, uh, so, this story is somewhere, I think, can Acts 8 or 10, uh, 10, then, so basically, it's a. And like. So basically, it's in like. Paul. Uh, one of Paul's writings. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I'm. Okay, yep. Now, uh, I got the story. It's Acts 10. Yep. Okay, so now, now I'm going to read the story, okay? okay? At Caesarea, there's a na man named Cornelius, a Saturian, and what was known as the Italian and Regiment. He and all his family were devout and God fear. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day about at about three in the afternoon, he had prayed to God regularly. Oh wait, no. One day at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared him in fear. What is it, Lord? Yes. The angel answered, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now send men to Joppa to bring back a man named Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying with Simon the Tanner, who houses by the sea. When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants and a devout who was one of his attendants. He told them everything that had happened and sent them to Joppa. And then, Peter's vision. About noon the following day, as they were on the journey, on their journey, he, and approaching the sea, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven open, and, and something like part. He fell. And something like a large sheet let down the earth by its four corners. It could take all kinds of four feathers, reptiles, and birds. Then a voice told him, Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. Surely not, Lord, Peter replied. I have never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure and pure that God has made clean. This happened three times, and immediately the sheep was taken back to heaven. While Peter was running about the meaning of the vision, the men sent by Cornelius found out where Simon's house was and stopped by the 
They called out, asking if Simon, who was known as Peter, was staying there. Peter was still thinking about his name. Hmm. And Simon. Man, I was confused. So get up and go down. Do not hesitate to go with them, for I have sent them. Peter went down and said to the man, I'm the one you're looking for. Where have you come? The man replied, We have come from Cornelius the centurion. He is a righteous and God fearing man, who is respected by all the Jewish people. The holy angel told who told him to ask you to come to his house so that he would to hear what you have to say. Then Peter invited the men into the house to be his guests. Peter at Cornelius' house. The next day, Peter started out with them, and some of the believers from Joppa went along. The following day, he arrived in Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called all together his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man myself. While talking with him, Peter went inside and found a large gathering of people. So you are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew associated with a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call an impure or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without really any objection. I ask you why you for me? Cornelius answered, Three days ago, I was in my house praying at this hour. At three in the afternoon, suddenly a man in shining clothes stood before me and said, Cornelius, God, your prayer and remember your gifts to the poor. Send to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He is a guest in the home of Simon the Tanner, who lives by the sea. So I sent for you a man, and it was good of you to come. Now we, uh, we are all all here in the Lord's presence, listening to, to everything the Lord has commanded to me, you to tell us. Then Peter began to speak. I, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but except from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ. Lord of all, you know what happened throughout the Judea beginning in Galilee after after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. How he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. Because God was with him. We are we are witness is of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen by us who lay and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still speaking these words, Spirit came on all, all who heard the message. The circumcised believers who astonished that the Holy Spirit had been poor among gentlemen, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then, then Peter said, Surely no one can stand the way they're being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he ordered that they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. So that's the whole story. It's pretty long, right? Uh, right. There's a lot of it, events, and it's in the story. So, so here's the lesson that the story is trying to teach us. Not only 
E people who believe in Jesus can be the ones who can be saved. From every country, they can be saved too. Like my parents' culture. They're from Ethiopia. They're not uh, Jews. They believe in Jesus. They uh, they know the good news of Israel. They know how to, they knew how Jesus died. Ain't on the cross because us humans. They they knew how Jesus rose from the dead and told told his disciples about uh, preaching the good news about him um, to the whole world. It, it's like that. Anyone can believe in Jesus, no matter or what country or city or state they're in. Everybody can. So so that's today's lesson. And today. Today's verse is John three sixteen, which you might know this is already one of our verses, but it matches with this story. So that's today's verse, and today's activity will be he he just like the story. You can you can like pretend that you're Cornelius, and somebody can be the angel. Then they can tell you to send for somebody. So you can send your sibling. Your parents, your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, your aunt, your cousin, your your little brother, and your baby brother, everybody from your family, basically. So, so you can send anybody from your family that's at your house, and then they can pretend to be the Peter, and then they can, uh, uh, and then they can like talk about random stuff. Like, they can talk about uh, stuff, including Bible stuff, like, like what we just said. And, but but just, just so that you can uh, do what you like to do, you can, and like, talk about some stuff. But make sure this activity is Christianity. So if you use this activity for violence, that's really a big trouble. I'm not joking. That's actually really big trouble. Okay? So, don't use this activity for violence. Violence? No. Pfft. We don't need violence. And just use it for good stuff. Like, like good, other good stuff. Uh, stuff. So, just use the activity for that. Okay? So, right now it's the end of the story. So, goodbye. Stay safe and have a great day. Summer today. Goodbye.